with fate guiding my every move, I dismounted my camel and wondered how long I'd be below. Hello everyone, Ritz Blues here, back with another roguelike, this time Spelunky. Now I haven't played a whole heck of a lot of Spelunky, and it's been a long time as well. So I'll go ahead and play through the uh, tutorial on the first episode here, and then maybe give one or two attempts at uh, making my way to the bottom. So I'll go ahead and pick my character. There's a bunch of different ones of avatars to choose from. As far as I know, they're all the same in function. They're just skins. I like this plucky pit helmet or pith helmet wearing chap here with the nice mutton chops. So the main door there is the actual level, but this is the uh, tutorial area, so we'll go ahead and do that. Greetings, my name is Yang, and this is my journal. Dusty maps and rumors are amazing, blah blah blah. You can read if you want to slow it down. Basically, it tells you the rules of the game, and the object is to make its way, your way down to Olmec. And through Yang's story, you learn how to play the game. So now we're actually playing as Yang. So, Spelunky is another platformer roguelike been playing a lot of those. And, you know, you can move around side to side and jump and climb up platforms, which they have a nice clinging system, so if you run and jump, you can cling to uh, other surfaces, which is helpful. In addition, you can jump on most enemies Mario Brothers style, climb ladders, but the whole point of the game is to collect as much loot as possible because you're going to need it to be able to buy the items you need to make it to the uh, end of the game. In addition to being able to run and jump, you also have your trusty whip, which you can whip enemies with. And, uh, of course, what, uh, what roguelike would be complete without obstacles that will kill you dead permanently. Now other than the tutorial, every stage is randomly generated. The nice thing is is uh, the rules are the same between each one. Like spikes, for example. If you jump on spikes, you instantly die. But if you just run next to them from the ground level next to them, they don't hurt you. Which from a realistic perspective, it actually makes sense. I mean, I wouldn't jump on a spike if I'm already at the same level as them. Okay. So as we continue the tutorial, it explains that you can break enemies, boxes, and chests with your whip. Ah, here we go, our first pickup item. Ooh, chest. Our first pickup item. Bombs. And there's more money. So we have bombs, and the other pickup item is ropes. But we'll get to those in a minute. So, in addition to a limited number of hit points, which I have four hit points, four hits, and I die, there are also bombs and ropes. Bombs are useful for reaching areas that are blocked off by dirt or wood or other solid subject, uh, substances and objects. And then ropes, which I'm currently out of. Oh, I have to go down to get them. They should be in those crates down there. So bombs will destroy tiles like uh, dirt, and then ropes can grant you, well, a rope. You throw a hook up to the ceiling, and if it hits, it makes a rope that you can climb. But you have a limited number of them, so you have to use them wisely. Save bombs for certain things. I've never even fought any bosses, so I don't know how useful bombs are against bosses, but I know in games like Binding of Isaac, they're pretty useful. Alright, so collect some more of these bricks. Money can be used in the item shop. Let's see if we can get that chest over there too. 
Hmm. Well, if not for this block over here, that bomb probably was not worth spending. Alright, jump that gap here. And just like Super Mario Brothers, you can run over single tile gaps with a running start. Aha! More goodies. I thought I saw those earlier. When you play this game, you want to pay attention to different uh, levels that you're above uh, as you descend. Because you may not be able to access something on your way down, but once you're at that level, you might be able to approach it from the side or even from below. Alright. So I believe the tutorial has one more stage. So the last thing to introduce is uh, the ability to pick up and throw items. So there's this pot here, and we can grab this rock and be able to throw it, and it can kill enemies. Pretty helpful, especially if it's something out of reach that you don't want to kill with your whip. Rocks have another good use, though. It's always worth it to carry something like a rock or a uh, an idol with you if you can help it. Oh, good ropes. Go ahead and grab those bricks. Probably worth it. Maybe not, but it all adds up. Okay, so rocks have a second use, and I might be able to show you in a little bit. Alright, here's an item shop. It's a tutorial, so all I can buy are supplies like bombs and ropes. But in the main game, there are power-ups you can get, just like in a roguelike, that, uh, well, I don't know what they do until you try them, but they can dramatically change the way you play the game. There's a chest here. That's good money. That was worth the rope. Okay, now, at uh, the other end there is an arrow trap, but if I throw a rock just in front of it, there we go, triggers the trap, and now I can safely collect my idol and leave. You can only carry one carried item at a time, which is unfortunate because there are oftentimes more than one thing to carry in this game. For example, other than idols, there are also, uh, I guess you could call it, excuse me, I guess you could call it, um, maidens, or damsels in distress, uh, or dogs, or dudes, that you can pick up and carry to the exit. Yeah, idols are pretty heavy, so you can also use them to break stuff. Ooh, that chest there. Ooh. I got lucky there, it didn't kill me. Alright, grab that idol and keep going. So if you make it to an exit door with an idol or with a ma uh, damsel, you can turn it in and you get a bonus. Ouch. If, uh, if you have an idol, you get a big bonus. Uh, $5,000 is not bad, actually, for a single thing. Yeah, that's more than the cost of ropes or bombs. One could also argue that damsels like this dog here, if you rescue them, uh, they give you back... Well, you'll see. There we are. One hit point at the end of the level. Actually, I don't think that'll show that since it's a tutorial. But basically, after you end a level, if you rescue someone like a damsel and you make your way to the next floor, on your way to the next floor, the damsel will reward you like that and heal one of your wounds, uh, which actually you can have more health than just four. Okay, so now we're done with the tutorial. Let's play the game proper, shall we? All right, so we hop in the temple and randomize it. Alright, here we go. And already an arrow trap that isn't guarding anything. I guess it's guarding a small passage down there, but I don't see anything that valuable. 
Spy snake. Spider webs. Those are nice and annoying. Ooh, oh good, the arrow trap didn't get me. Still, let's trigger it anyway. Just to be safe. I could carry the arrow and throw it too if I wanted, but I like rocks. Alright, nothing useful there. Ooh, ooh. That was close. Don't want to mess with that spider if I don't have to. There we go. Arrow trap. And I sneak. Alright. Not a real skeleton. Or an enemy at least. Sweet. Free ropes. Grab that gold bar and be on our way. I could have blown through that wall and maybe gotten a couple more jewels, but... Eh, maybe there's another way in. Let's see. Push through over here. There we go. Three gold bars. Yeah, let's see if we can blow up a hole in the floor here. Drop a bomb here. And... Oh, good. Alright. There we go. There's... One green gem, and two green gems, and what's in the box? Well, my whip can't reach that? Alright. Three more bombs. So that was worth it. I got a bomb refund for one cost of bomb, gain three, so net two. Good, good haul, I'd say. And a decent chunk of cash. Ugh, bats, ouch. Oh, man. Getting hit on the first level sucks. Okay. Let's move on. So there you go. There's one one. We made it 100 meters. Woo. Count up all the money. 8100's not bad. But I probably could have made more. Alright. Nothing in the pot. Pots are pretty risky business. Sometimes they can contain enemies like that spider. It's usually better to throw... Ouch! Throw them. Alright. Jimbo's specialty shop. We got a compass, a bomb box, spike shoes... I have no idea what these do, but I'll buy them. And a web gun? Nah. Let's buy the compass. I wonder what that does. Oh! It puts a little arrow on the map. I guess that must be where the exit is. Let's see if we can't rescue that damsel over there. Great, can't reach the bat. Ah, shoot. Great, one more hit. Oops, oh, sorry, I knocked you out there. All right, oh! Oh, and on the spikes. Ugh. All right, well. There we go, folks. I didn't even last three minutes. Well. Thanks for watching, guys. If you enjoyed this, like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.